Okay, today here at Hot Hits Marine, we've got a propeller shaft out of a ski boat. Uh, this thing had the shaft packing gland replaced with a more modern dripless seal that we've done many times. However, this one, the seal lasted a few minutes and then failed. The manufacturer sent us another one. We put it on and it leaked immediately. Sorry about the phone ringing in the background. All right, so we've set up a dial indicator here. We have this in our lathe. It's like a 2002 Malibu ski boat, I believe. And we've set our dial indicator up at zero. This is the coupler in inside the boat. This is the prop end inside of here. Just the taper is just beyond these jaws. Um, the first thing I noticed, we've never had this prop shaft out. My technician has been putting these in. But what I see here is I see a lot of damage on this shaft from years of use. Now we did notice uh, this area right here inside the boat where it's rubbing. It was rubbing the, the bronze piece that goes through the hull of the boat. And it's rubbing it pretty bad. Uh, it wasn't rubbing it the last time we looked, but for some reason it had been rubbing it in its past history pretty substantial you know it's got some big grooves in it all the way to there now the seal rides in this area and this area the old rope seal rode right here in this area and I don't know if you can see that kind of hard to tell my phone is right here so these are grooves. That's a groove, that's a groove. Those are two grooves where apparently the rope seal has moved a few times in its life. So there's actually three. One, two, three grooves where that rope seal had been sitting in the packing flax. I'm gonna stop this video until the compressor is done. Okay, now that the compressor stopped running and the phone stopped ringing, we're gonna make this a lot quicker because it's probably gonna happen some more. So this end right here of this shaft was wobbling badly. Now we've got a, a positive type seal and not some old style rope seal that they work fine, but they're supposed to drip a little bit. And you know, anyway, to me, it's just old school technology. So apparently to a lot of other people and boat manufacturers as well, because you really don't see them much anymore and you know, that I'm aware of. So we've got some damage to the shaft in this region right here where the old rope seal set. We've got some rubbing. It looks like it was happening here. Some rubbing happening here. We've got uh, damage to the shaft here where it had been scraping the boat for some amount of time prior. And the rest of the shaft looks pretty clean, okay? The end where the propeller looks pretty clean. There's some scuffing there from the prop going on and off, but nothing major. So this is the portion that's inside the boat. From about here up is inside the boat. Uh, right about here up is inside the boat from here back is outside the boat this section right here goes through the coupler that's the piece inside the boat that had been rubbing so we don't have a seal right on that so it's not a big deal so long as it's not hitting anymore we also notice the transmission moving up and down the engine and transmission moving up and down when accelerating the boat in our run tank way over there we'd accelerate the back of the transmission would lift up about a quarter to a half an inch indicating the rubber motor mounts in the back of the transmission may be suffering and not doing well. Now that puts some odd binds on this shaft since you've got a strut down here. You can see this shiny area. There's a little wear I can feel with my finger right into this area. It doesn't show up well in the video, but I can feel it nicely with my finger. It's some ribs. This is where the strut is holding this. Well, the strut is fixed. So if this end down here is moving up and down, and this is fixed, this is not good. It should not be moving. A little tiny bit of movement's okay, but, but, but this end of the shaft moving up and down a half inch is, is a serious problem. So we've got this in the lathe, we've got the RPM set low. We're gonna turn this lathe on, we're gonna walk this dial indicator down, we're gonna see just how bent this shaft is. When we had the new coupler on, this end of the coupler was at idle is moving quite a bit. So I suspect that the end of this shaft is warped badly but maybe not. Maybe it's bent throughout its radius, you know, it's radius throughout its uh, length, and maybe it's really just bent from about here on up, you know, kind of bowed, so to speak. Hope I'm being clear enough. I'm kind of 
a little flustered this morning with some other things. So we're gonna turn this on. All right. And immediately we can see that we've got movement on the front. And that looks like about six thousandths, you know, which isn't terrible. But that still shows movement. That's still bent. That's not straight. I don't know what the tolerance is of these shafts, but I would imagine between zero and maybe three, you know, on a high side, I would like to see it within two thousandths personally as a machinist. But you can't buy anything with a crap anymore. So I've seen new shafts come in that we've had to actually tweak them because they were a little bit out of spec. Now we're gonna roll this back. And you see right there, it gets pretty true. Now that's just about where the seal is riding. So that's pretty straight, but it's still moving. You know, that's three thousandths of an inch, two to three thousandths of an inch, which I think would be okay. But it's enough to physically see something moving around. We'll go here. This is where the old seal was riding. This is directly on a portion where the seal was riding. We're gonna go on back and you can see it's kind of changes a little bit. So we got about three thousandths up to five thousandths. Let's just keep walking down. I'm, I'm working this down as we go. Now we're starting to see a little more movement. We're getting, you know, six thousandths. Well, seven, eight thousandths. Now we're at, you know, five, 10, 12, 12 thousandths roughly, maybe even closer to 13 thousandths movement. This says we get to the middle of the shaft that's running outside the boat. So we got five, 10, we're a little over 15 thousandths movement. Let's go a lot more, let's move it a bunch. So we got there, five, 10, 15, we're right at 15 still. A little bit more, another six, eight inches, and it starts to get, it starts to wind down a little bit again. That's a pretty good bend. As we get closer to the machine, let's see what it does. It starts to calm down a little bit. And this is nearing the strut. We had a tough time turning this propeller shaft when it was in too, so thinking there's some strut misalignment and etc. So this is very near the strut. I don't want to break my $200 gauge by smacking it on that lathe. So about another, that's probably right at the strut itself. So that's wobbling around inside the strut about six thousandths of an inch. So we could say this prop shaft is definitely bent. Okay, now we've seen a bent a lot worse, but at any rate, it's bent. And not only bent, but worn out. Hit the brakes. So my recommendation is I don't know if that's focusing well enough in the video. My recommendation is definitely a new prop shaft with a new coupler and address the rear motor mounts.